The Air Force Academy Falconry team visited MacArthur Middle School ahead of the Air Force Navy game. Hello and welcome to Me Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on the visit in a moment. Also this week, the Army's testing a new app. The safety office holds a mentorship ride. And if you want to get some recognition for an outstanding performer in your unit, we can help. These stories and more, but first, the Armed Forces Wellness Center staged a community-wide resiliency fair Friday at McLaughlin Parade Field. The annual event featured team challenges including the amazing race, raffle drawings, food and entertainment. The fair is meant to help build a stronger community through better health and also to let people know what resources are available. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp recognized the Armed Forces Wellness Center in his opening remarks. Noelle from the Armed Forces Wellness Center is the reason that we are here today with her, the operations team, all of the vendors out there who have come to support you all are here to make sure that you connect the resources that are out there with those of us that need it the most. For those taking specific challenges, uh, I know that we have military family life counselors. We also have Kimbro. If you need someone of professional help, get it, get triaged. Today is also not just behavioral health, but it's about finding the everyday ways to make your life a little easier. In a related story, the Garrison Safety Office held a mentorship safety ride at Smallwood Hall just across the street from the concurrent Community Resiliency Fair. On behalf of the uh, Garrison Commander, Garrison Sergeant Major, and the Deputy Garrison Commander, thank you for participating in our uh, the first uh, motorcycle mentorship ride in a number of years, even before COVID. Um, hopefully we can uh, build on this. The event included Maryland State Troopers going through a safety inspection checklist before the riders did a self-inspection. The event concluded with a group ride to Crownsville. Desmond Rogers from the Garrison Safety Office explains the difference between the safety ride and regular motorcycle safety training. So in the safety classes, it's, it's basically teaching them how to ride. So they come and do the BRC course, which is just to get them to be able to get their license. And then the ARC is kind of, it brings them in and lets them get familiarized with their bike. But it's in a controlled environment, which is just here on the range. When we go out in, you know, off post, it gives them a chance to ride within traffic, ride through, you know, stop signs, stop lights, riding through other cars and stuff like that, giving them the real world experience of riding their motorcycles instead of on this controlled environment, which is just on the range behind me. In other news, after just a little more than two years on the job, the Army's digital garrison app is in the process of being replaced. The Army's in the process of replacing it with the new My Post app. They're currently soliciting feedback. It's already available in both the Google and Apple app stores. The app's most commonly used to get notifications about gate traffic. You can also get hours of operations for most post services. Other information available may include local weather, how to navigate to on-post facilities, and others. You can watch this video in its entirety on YouTube. Just search My Post app. And if you'd like to provide some feedback, contact us here at the Public Affairs Office, and we'll send you a survey link. In other news, every Wednesday, our Public Affairs social media team puts up a Workforce Wednesday post. I spoke with our social media manager, Jasmine Ferber, about Workforce Wednesday and how you can recognize an outstanding performer in your organization. Workforce Wednesday is a way to recognize the hardworking uh, service members, civilians, veterans that are on installation. Uh, we have over 120 organizations on Fort Meade, including uh, Defense Information School, uh, Defense Media Activity, EPA, um, Library of Congress, so many different um, organizations that drive the mission forward every single day. And it's just a way to highlight those um, people and the hard work that they're doing. If you know someone that um, should be recognized for Workforce Wednesday, um, you can just ha uh, email me at jasmine.l.ferber.civ at army.mil. Elsewhere, MacArthur Middle School's sixth grade students got a big treat recently. The Air Force Academy Falconry team stopped by the school the day before the Air Force Navy game in Annapolis. They put on a demonstration for the kids. The event was coordinated by Lauren Hill, the military and family life counselor at MacArthur Middle School. All right, hi everyone. How are we all doing today? Very good. Bye. Let's get a big round of applause for Nova. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great Mead Week.